My name is Sam Vaknin and I'm a columnist in Brussels Morning and today we're going to discuss what else Iran. Iran rules the Middle East. Intimidated by Iran's belligerent and suicidal proxies, pressured into submission by a craven isolationist United States, countries such as Egypt, Saudi Arabia and Jordan are succumbing to the Islamic Republic as the new regional powerhouse. Only a dilapidated Israel, torn by internecine strife, stands in the way of Iran's ascendance, but not for long. Under inordinate American pressure, even Israel has refrained from retaliating, having been attacked by 300 Iranian projectiles in April. Iran's proxies, most notably Hezbollah, the Houthis, and the militias in Syria and Iraq, these proxies have created an unbreachable firewall around Iran. Iran uses them to bully countries and regimes in the Middle East into submission. Jordan's Minister of Foreign Affairs visited Iran after four decades incommunicado. He begged the Ayatollahs to ease up on the infiltration and subversion in his country. But Iran is hell-bent on regime change there, and not only there. Having been blackmailed by the United States into retreat in its fight against the Iran-backed Houthis in Yemen, snatching defeat from the jaws of unequivocal victory, the Saudis gave up on their erstwhile crumbling and unreliable geriatric ally across the ocean. They and the Abu Dhabis resorted to a dynamic and assertive China, which successfully brokered in short order last year a deal with Iran and the resumption of diplomatic relations. The latest of the toppling dominoes are Turkey and Egypt, both ostensibly allies of the West. Both are cozying up to Iran, now widely perceived as a proxy of China and Russia in the Middle East. Egypt has been conducting high-level negotiations with Iran ever since the summit in Riyadh in November 2023. The United States might be next to make peace with the nuclear Iran, should it reconcile itself to the inevitable redrawing of the balance of power in the region. The United States, in the meantime, is on the precipice of another Trump presidency, marked by extreme isolationism. China and its newly acquired satellite, Russia, are on the ascendance geopolitically. They are also far more reliable allies than the West, as Zelensky and Bashar al-Assad could confirm. <laughs> Israel is caught in a maelstrom. The United States, its only partner, is a broken reed. Iran, its bitterest foe, soon to go nuclear, undeterred, committed to the extermination of the Jewish state, is undoubtedly the next regional power, bar none. Israel is the only entity to block Iran's way to regional hegemony. But not for long, it seems. 